Oh, what I'm going to show you today is uh, the latest Box.com integration that we've built for Salesforce. Uh, what this does is piggyback on the existing Box.com integration and kind of uh, takes care of an issue that has been prevalent since the uh, integration was released. So what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and create a new account. And I'm going to create this as um, test me one, two, three. Save the account. And now the account is saved. So wh whenever you have a new account, what you previously had to do with Box is go in and um, create it in the structure that Box wanted you to by clicking on Create Folder. Now what we've done is actually you can see here, Select Box Folder. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. And it's going to allow me to associate to an existing Box Folder or even create one right on the fly. So I'm going to go uh, into our box.com. I'm going to choose where I want uh, this fo uh, file to point to. So I want to store this under the T's. So I'll choose this folder here. And I can choose to use an existing folder or create a child. So here I'm going to create a child. Test me one, two, three, which is the account. Go ahead and click create. And you'll now notice it's stored in the folder structure that I want. Consulting clients R through V, test me one, two, three. It never had to refresh the page because we hold this entirely in its own uh, iframe. Um, hope you enjoyed. Please reach out if uh, you'd like to implement this for your company. Appreciate it. Thank you.